So I've talked a lot about the war in Yemen, and there's been a lot of criticism from me, from others, from humanitarian organizations about what we have done as the United States, the bombing, the blockades that have caused uh, starvation, humanitarian crisis, blocking of supplies, there's a cholera outbreak, right? There's also soldiers have done some misdeeds, Saudi soldiers have done misdeeds. So what has this, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia done? Well, they just issued a royal pardon for everything their soldiers have done in Yemen. Those are our allies. That's who America is allied with. This is on antiwar.com on Tuesday. Saudi Arabia announced that it is issuing a royal pardon for any and all Saudi troops engaged in the war in Yemen, covering all crimes related to vi violating military rules and discipline. So they, they said this is to show appreciation for the heroics of the invading force that are helping kill 120 kids a day. That's heroic. And they're our allies. If North Korea was doing this, we would be going bananas. If Russia was doing this, we would be outraged. There would be mass protests in the streets. We would be boycotting any and all Russian everything. Fox, knew, Fox who covered is, and is still covering the World Cup, would have been like, we're pulling coverage. But our good friends the Saudis do it, and hey, we're going to pardon all of the war crimes and just keep give high fives. The Saudi invasion in Yemen has been widely controversial internationally. Saudi airstrikes have killed massive numbers of Yemeni civilians. We've talked about, I think, two different weddings that have been bombed, maybe more. And the war has also caused famine and the largest cholera epidemic in human history. Faced with UN criticism, Saudi officials have resisted allegations of wrongdoing and ultimately got the UN to agree that Saudi Arabia would be allowed to investigate its own forces. Oh, that always works. You know, like every time there's civilian casualties from the United States military and it's always like we, the local officials say 70 people die. We said only 12. Like we're going to let the kingdom of Saudi Arabia that has all these human rights violations. Women finally got the right to drive in 2018. We're going to let them investigate their own army. Great. Yeah, it's good. Why would you need civilian oversight on anything? Why would you let the UN investigate anything? Why would you let to do that? Um, so, the UN, <laughs> not the strongest organization, said, okay, Saudis, you can investigate your own thing. And once they were granted that right, oh, we're freeing everybody. Everybody's off the hook. It is unclear what prompted the pardon to be offered. No, as the war shows no sign of ending and there is no suggestion from official reports that the Saudis had punished any of their troops more than nominally for war crimes in the first place. So they went from a wrist slap to yay, to a high five. A wrist slap, hey, don't ever do that again. To, oh, nice work, hero. Awesome. Weird that the mainstream media won't cover this. If this was one of these countries that was threatening our petrodollar, this would be front and center. This would be front and center. We would know everything that was going on about all these heinous crimes. But because they're our ally and we have, you know, they give us a lot of oil, we sell them weapons. Eh, nobody knows about this. We got to go to some weird anti-war website to find it. This wasn't on CNN, by the way. This wasn't on the USA Today homepage, by the way. This wasn't the front times of the LA Times. The front page of the LA Times, rather. No. Nope. Nope. Thanks for supporting the show, you guys. I'm coming to Seattle August 9th, doing Political Vigilante Live, doing stand-up August 11th. Ron Placone and I just added two more dates to the Progressive Comedy Tour, November 2nd in Sacramento, and November 3rd in San Francisco, NorCal, we are coming for you. Get a Make Gotham Great Again shirt. All of that stuff is available at GrahamElwood.com. Thanks for watching.